What's going on, guys? I appreciate those of you that were hanging out waiting. For those of you watching the replay, welcome to the channel. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, and turn notifications on so you'd be notified when I go live for streams like this. So I wasn't sure when I was going to go live again. I do have a live stream with Ogun on his channel, Diverse Sense Battles, that he's been doing. I have that going on tomorrow night on Equality Fragrances channel. And then I had to move around the live stream I was doing with Randy. We were initially going to do that Wednesday. Been sick the last few days since the smell wasn't the greatest. It's back in full force. We're in good shape. So we'll be doing that on Saturday. Um, oh, it is Friday. You're right. So I'm doing that tonight. My bad. Tripping. <laughs> so I just I'm all over the place. I've got so much shit going on. It's been unreal this past week on top of being sick. Um, but it's going to be a good time. I appreciate all of you being here. First things first, though. What is everybody rocking? I am rocking Gravité from Particle. I know you guys have been seeing this one float around on the internet for a bit. This is actually the second try of getting the fragrance to me because I had an empty box show up last week where somebody, a postal worker, a very honest, hardworking postal worker, decided to steal it and just let the empty box make its way to me. The flap was hanging open where the adhesive was. Uh, so they got a free bottle out of it. I've had it for a few days now. I wore it not last night, but the previous two evenings, I wore it out the shower because it's very fresh, bright, very metallic, very metallic and spicy, um, kind of an amalgamation of things like picture Sauvage meets light blue meets Polo Deep Blue Parfum because some of the greenery there, um, very musky. You know what I mean? It's very clean. I'll be doing the video comes out tomorrow. Today's my third wearing of it. Pretty straightforward. I know exactly what to talk about with this one. We'll save that for the review for tomorrow, but actually liking it. Decent performer, nothing super strong. I've seen people say it's super weak and all that. I mean, teach their own. For me, kind of in that mid-level five, six-hour range, which for as fresh as it is, not too shabby. And like I said, we'll talk more about that soon. Well, Candice with the $10 super chat. Thank you, sir. I greatly appreciate that. Greetings, Ross and chat. Center of the day, Mercedes-Benz Cologne. Cheers. Excellent, excellent choice. Speaking of fresh. That's definitely on the fresh side. Digging the hat, Ross, Sin of the day, Ventus Cologne. Thirsty's Thursday does feel like a Friday. Okay, yeah. So when you said it's Friday, you confused me for a second. I was like, I could have swore it was Thursday. So, yeah, that's tomorrow on <laughs> Ogun's, Ogun's channel. You sound better now. Yes, I, I'm not congested anymore. A little bit of runningness here and there, with, but nose is back in full force. That was why the last two days were list videos. I could smell a little bit. But not to the point to where I can really like dissect a fragrance like I typically would. So it was like, eh, let me do, let me talk about some stuff I'm familiar with. I don't want to talk about any of the new stuff I have that I'm testing right now because fresh sprays and stuff like that. Like I got to really try to smell them. So that's why the last two days have been list, but it was kind of fun because I've been doing a lot of reviews lately. So uh, it was nice to get back to a couple of topics that were fun to do for sure. Favorite shoes to squat in. I really don't have a specific pair um, because I don't really do a lot of back squats like barbell on my back. I do more hack squats and um, reverse lunges with dumbbells and stuff like that. I, I don't really like putting the weight on my back because I've got shoulder issues with my rotator cuff on this side. There go arm day. Threw it up. Might as well. Um, today was arm day, obviously. So I don't really like holding that at like the, the, I think it's called like a cheat bar where they have the padding and the bars right here where you can do squats. I do it like that from time to time. Um, the other Vasa fitness has that bar, the one that's further away. If I happen to do leg day over there, I may on occasion, like three leg days ago, I had did that. So I don't squat that often with a barbell. I do other things. Let's see, let me scroll down. I got way behind really fast. So I wanted to tell you, Deneem, I've been seeing all your posts. You keep spelling that wrong. It's T-A-B-A-C. It's right there on your bottle, in your box. You keep spelling it wrong. I've been seeing your thumbnails and your posts and everything. You've been spelling tobac wrong. It's not tobac. It's tobac. Tobac or tobac. You can pronounce it either way, but it's an A. It's T-A-B-A-C. So glad to see you, though. Sphinx Elixir. I need to try that one, Mo. I haven't tried that one yet. Luminous Night. That's a good one. Haven't worn that in some time. Randy. Speaking of, there's Randy. We're going to be doing our live on Saturday with some new releases. The only one I know for certain is in there is the new Polar Red Parfum. I have not opened it. The envelope's right there. I'm waiting until the live stream because I don't want to peek in there. 
have Gravitate also. Definitely a good new fragrance. I'm, I mean, it's not groundbreaking, but the bottles are 89 bucks, and I have a 20% off code that I forced them to get me because, like I told you guys, when I do collaborations, all three parties have to benefit, you guys, the brand, and me. And if all three of us aren't going to win, we're not going to do it. So I was able to get a 20% code out of them for you guys, which I've noticed not everybody has a discount code. So, yeah, so you can get 20% off the 89 dollars for one bottle i don't know if they do samples or not I, I need to check i hope they do samples because obviously it'd be best to sample first because it's getting mixed reviews you know you may not like it you may love it you know like this guy likes it i like it so we'll talk more about it tomorrow in the video i'll film that later this evening oud lemon mint that's a good one aqua sensi alley blue i'm more in a little while i need to pull that one out i keep forgetting to pull that one out platinum ego east today picked up valentino born in roma intense what do you think about it? It's mm, okay. It's better than Born in Roma. You know, um, don't, still don't think I'm going to pick up a full bottle of it, though. Uh, I mean, it's not all vanilla, but it's got fruitiness at the top, a lot of apple. So, I mean, in some ways, it's pretty gourmand. But I don't think when I think of gourmand, I think of delectable scents that make you want to taste the aroma. You know, that's what I think of when I think of a gourmand and that scent, though, it has gourmand notes in it. It doesn't give me that of like, oh, this is delicious. It doesn't give me that type of feeling when I smell it. it. Smells great. I just I mean, teach their own. I could see how it's technically a gourmand in some ways, but not how I personally kind of feel about gourmand scent profiles. Invictus Legend. What's going on, Mikey? How's the leg, man? How you feeling? No, I haven't talked to you in a little bit about that. How's everything healing up for you? Second soul, excellent choice. Dad, be proud of you, Ross, about the way. You, I appreciate that, man. I um, I was seeing a lot of those on TikTok because late at night before bed, that's when I scroll through TikTok, and I was seeing the whole. And I came across one where this chick was saying something, and about her sister in heaven, cheering her on. It was a, it was a, a lifting one. It was a workout one, and it's the Lightning McQueen one. And I was like, you know, that'd be a good one to do about dad. So I took some of the footage from earlier yesterday. And piece it together. It actually made me tear up pretty, pretty, you know, when I was editing, <laughs> it had me tear up pretty good because, because that's the thing, you know, um, for those that need context, my dad was a competitive bodybuilder. You know, that's why the, you know, that's why it says, I wonder if he's proud that I finally dedicated myself completely to the gym because that was always a big thing for him. That was our thing. He was my training partner. That's why I don't train with anyone. My training partner died 20 years ago this May been 20 years that's what there it is up top that's what this tattoo is 52403 so this year makes 20 years may makes 20 years that's crazy but thank you joel yeah i put it i had put it across the the other social platforms last night and put it on both the youtube channels this morning and i actually had one jackass one dickhead comment on the tltg vlogs channel where i put it on there saying probably not you should probably do something else yeah, you go fuck yourself, motherfucker. You could have just kept swiping, you sick, sorry, sackless birth canal, you miserable, insufferable prick. That's what I thought when I read that. Like, who puts that on something? Like, I'm talking about my dead dad, you prick. You know, for people to put hateful comments on stuff like that, they're just they're just scum of the earth type of people, in my opinion. Good people aren't going to say shit like that. You know, if you don't like what you see, you, you swipe. You don't have to be hateful. But I digress. I appreciate all of you being here. This is a happy day. Happy thing. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling great. It's a good day. You know, we got 76 people, 19 likes. Oh my guys, what are we doing? Wow. Y'all are so much better than that. Now let me refresh. Maybe it just needs to be refreshed because there's no way we got night. No, 23. Okay. 23. It's going up a few. No, that's legit. We really have that few of likes with this many viewers guys come on i hit that quick thumbs up real quick i appreciate you guys seriously never tried it sahib saheb or sahib i think sahib would be too easy saheb i'm probably not gonna watch i don't really watch ufc that much i'm more of a boxing fan than uh mixed martial arts i smell so dude saw you picked up valentino barroom and tents uh i did a video on it and it's, eh, I didn't pick it up. It's a decant. It's a decant. So you didn't watch the video. You saw the thumbnail. <laughs> Thumbnail's got the bottle. It's a decant that my buddy Randy sent to me. And it's, yeah, it's kind of underwhelming. Nothing super special. 
Like it does remind me of Invictus Aqua with in incense. And you would think I would like that because that's two things I like, but I just, it's like, I have a lot that kind of reminds me of that scent profile. So it's hard for me to say, yeah, let me go buy that bottle for retail. Um, I'd have to get a good deal on it because it it's going to be redundant. It's very redundant. I'm, I told, I told you guys a lot so far this year in, in live streams like this. I'm trying my best to cut back on some of the redundancy unless it's just a DNA that I just I can't get enough of and want to get more variety of, like twists on the DNA. That's not one of them. I've got Invictus and Invictus Aqua variations coming out of my ears, you know. And back and forth on buying Cool Water Parfum. That's a great one. Should I pull the trigger and what two fragrances do you think it smells most like? Um... It has a little bit of a Savage feel, but more of a grown-up type of thing. Like, don't let me, when I, when I say Savage feel, scare you off because it's lemon, not bergamot. It's earthy vetiver, not pepper. You know, it's there's no Ambroxan listed, but it has a little bit of that feel to it. There's pink pepper for this sweet, spicy tone. The, the vetiver's a little on the earthy and woody side. Like, it doesn't really specifically remind me of anything outside of kind of like a touch of cool waters, the original eau de toilette with a little bit of like Sauvage eau de parfum, just a little bit, but more so its own thing than that. Like if anything, I get a little bit of those two from it, but I wouldn't call them specifically that on the way. Well, I appreciate you, Mo. Thank you, man. 45 likes, 77 viewers. We're getting there. Not there yet, but we're getting there. Just left Macy's. Boss Bottle came out with the new one, which is underwhelming. I did a first impressions on that one. 200 ml for 138. Salty greatness. Smells aquatic. Perfect for summer. No info on No. I'm glad you like it. I, I, it's It was okay. I thought it was, it's pretty good, but it's not something I'm going to rush out to grab. I tried it when I was traveling at Duty Free. I did a first impressions video like a, two weeks ago. It wasn't what I was expecting it to smell like. It's definitely got more of an aquatic feel to it and salty. I thought that was kind of strange, you know. Second Soul, that's what's up. Blue Touch, V by Justin was pretty interesting. Talking about the, the vlog video, because I haven't watched it yet. Because he does these random vlog videos from time to time. I, I saw the post. I just haven't, uh, I haven't watched it yet today. Been a busy day so far. Thank you, Eric. I appreciate that. Nice scent, decent performance. That's pretty much how I feel about it. Like, it's, it's good stuff. It's just not great. You know, it's good. It's pretty good. Actually, I like it. I'm going to wear it. Wife really likes it. Check ladies' reactions, guys. Wife really likes it. I mean, that metallic, fresh, spicy smell. That's my wife's sucker for that kind of stuff. She loves it. She likes it more than I do, for sure. I like it. She really likes it. <laughs> Sphinx fragrances. Women black hand was being back in stock. There you go, Mo. It's a good question. <laughs> Atlantis, another one. Speaking of, get ladies' reactions. Wife loves that one too. These, that's more of a unique fresh fragrance. That's really that's better than Gravite. Blue Atlas, Atlantis. That's a good one. Peach apricot, soapy florals, clean musk. The peach apricot, fruity freshness. It's not super sweet. It's not very feminine because when you hear peach and apricot, those are predominantly featured in more feminine fragrances. Plus florals like. Iris and Violet, it's not all that feminine, guys. It's actually a very nice everyday men's scent. I should have added that one to today's video. If I would have did 15, that would have been in there. That one could have went in, in there. It's going to be in another video coming up soon because I need to wear that one again. It's been two months since the last time I wore it, but it is really good stuff. Time to get moving. That's funny because I've been sitting down for about 30 minutes, but uh, it's good stuff. I really do like it. Quite a bit. I think the hype's real on that one. Go check the rack stores for potential gems this evening. Club de Nuit, good stuff. John Carlo will be back mid-March. So not too far from now. Two weeks, maybe. Very. I think it's very good. I like it more than what it's a clone of. It's a clone of Ultra Male. I think it's better than Ultra Male, personally. Atlantis, too powdery. Really? I don't get all that much powder from it. Could be the way it reacts on your skin. Oh, you're asking? No, no, I don't get a lot of powder from it. I don't. It's more of fresh fruits and clean musk. The florals are more soapy than powdery. I mean, there's a little touch, maybe. It's just, It comes down to a skin chemistry thing. Because trust me, I wear a ton of really powdery fragrances. And that I'll put that like a one or two out of ten when it comes to the powdery scale versus something that, you know, 
like a Prada Loam or which is still not even the most powdery of scents. Like because Blue Noir Parfum, that's on the nine ten range of powdery. Dior Homme nine ten range of powdery stuff like that. That's it's far away from that for me personally. Better than the original. I like the smokiness and the intense. Yeah, that's that's kind of what gives it that extra character. It definitely makes it a bit better. Haven't heard of Sphinx before, I don't think. Is that one of the, the one Neve was talking about? So I actually did the launch video, Randy. Um, the launch for the, the brand's kind of announcement. Like the bottles I have was Muhammad's prototype bottles. I, I assumed you had saw that, you know. Uh, this was a couple of months ago. And uh, yeah, Neve recently did a video on it as well. Yeah, we did a giveaway for my birthday. Uh, Muhammad gave away some bottles in the live stream, which you were on the panel. I don't know if you remember this. You were on screen while we were giving Sphinx fragrances away. Uh, you feeling dumb right now? You should feel dumb right now, Randy. <laughs> you were here. <laughs> Let's see. Hawass with Alfasan Black. Okay. I bet that's a decent layering combo, too. I'm not the type to layer, but I can see you losing weight in your face. One of the first things to go in the weight loss journey. Yeah, for sure. Um, I go up and down. Right now, I'm trying to go down. Um, cause I'll, I'll bulk and want to put, you know, eat more calories. Whereas right now I'm being super strict. I've been super strict for, it's been 10 days now, nine days. I've been, since I got really strict, I'm staying under 1700 calories. Um, I haven't had, except for the one cheat day that I had three days ago. It's every five days I'm doing the cheat day, and it's more of a cheat meal than a cheat day. But I've been staying under 80 grams of carbs every single day. I've been staying under 40 grams of fat every single day. I've been staying in the realm of 230 to 260 grams of protein every day. So that's kind of where it's been falling, every, except for, and I'm not counting the calories on the cheat day, because the cheat meal that I'm pretty much sticking to is Chinese buffet, where it's it's you can't even really calculate that anyway. Just ridiculous MSG, shit carbs, full of sodium, sugars, fats, bunch of protein, all that stuff. So that's kind of what it is. That's the, the refeed day, refuel day, I guess you could say. And it's also a cheap meal. That's kind of a cheap day's worth of a cheap meal. So, uh, so yeah, did a body blast and physical training today. Good to hear. Glad you're getting out, getting active. Stay strong. Thank you, sir. Herod or Carlisle? Ooh, I probably lean more towards Carlisle. It's a bit more interesting to me. Too many trolls in this world, people that live in the negative. Yeah, for sure, has definitely for sure. So I'm quite, I'm behind. Yeah, I did. I got the package uh, day before yesterday, Chris. I just haven't had a chance to go through them. That was a lot of decants. So for those of you that don't know, over all the years of my channel, Chris just randomly sends me shit. And I got a stack of decants. Like they're all a bunch of decants about this size. And it's like a row of them this this big in bubble wrap. It's like, I don't know, 10 or something like that. Random decants. I have it. I kind of peaked and I was like, okay, well, okay, he's paying attention. What it is is he'll pay attention to these videos. And if it's something I'm like, man, I really want to get my nose on that. And he's got it. He'll make a decant and he'll pile them up and he'll randomly send me a package. So I appreciate you, Chris. Seriously. Yeah, I, I got it. I just haven't been through it yet, man. Speak. I mean. Gucci Guilty Absolute. He's heard me say that a bunch of times. That's how I got Gucci Guilty Absolute. And the Encre Noirs. And I mean, you name it. That's that's how I've tried a lot of stuff is because of Chris. And lately, Randy's been trying to compete with him. Randy sends me decants all the time, too. My Vertus Vanilla Oob will be here tomorrow, but I've heard some negative things about it lately. Don't listen to them. I don't care who said it. Don't listen to them, Randy. It's incredible. You and I have similar tastes. It's incredible. It's awesome. I'll be shocked if you don't like it. I will be. Getting a lot of hate, but I can't stop wearing it. Well, <coughs> it's not hate worthy. I don't hate it. It's not bad. It's actually very good. It's just kind of boring for me because I like the whole rest of the line more. Where it's like it didn't improve for me. It's like Randy. I just mentioned we have similar tastes. It's Randy's least favorite of the wise. It's my least favorite of the wise, too. That's not saying it's bad because the whole line's good, especially the open. The opening's really, really nice on that one. It's a very good, easy wear blue fragrance. You guys know I love blue fragrances. I've just gotten so many at this point, so many blue fragrances. There's very few that I don't have. When it comes to any notable blue fragrance, I probably have it. If not, I've at least tried it. 
that one kind of underwhelmed me a little bit because I was hoping for something a little bit different based on the name. But it's still a very good fragrance. Uh, definitely Mano Fresh. Mano Fresh is my favorite from Versace as far as freshies. Wait, did I just hear Boss Bottle has a new release? No, Boss Bottle Parfum's been out for at least a month, I would think. I was in Germany when I tried it. Was I in Germany? Or was that my previous stop? Because in Germany, it was when I did the One Million Royal video. I did the Boss Bottle Parfum at the previous Duty Free on the previous stopover flight, which was in London. Yes. So I tried that in London. Was it London? Or was it still in Frankfurt? I don't remember. I was overseas when I tried it. So I was at a Duty Free. But yeah, go check it out. Just TLTG Boss Bottle Parfum. There it is, Randy. Quick, like, two-minute video, first impressions. It's not what I expected it to be. Definitely not. Bottle looks cool, though, if that counts for anything. Strawberry Kiss, killer scent for a guy. 10-4. Eh. I, Lost Cherry wasn't really my thing, so it didn't entice me to try the two new ones. I haven't tried the two new ones. I am going to get that one. I'm pretty sure it's going to smell like one of two fragrances. It's probably going to smell something along the lines of Grand Soir from MF MFK or Ani from Nishane. It's going to fall somewhere around there. The only notes they give is lavender, amber, and vanilla. That's the basis and core around what the other two are pretty much about. Um, so I'm pretty sure it's going to smell like Strong With You mixed with Grand Soir or Ani. Which will be fucking incredible. I'm here for it. I will get that. And I'll blindly get that. I know I'm going to like it. I'll blindly buy that one. That's one that I think commands retail from me. I'm not saying everybody else should try it first. But I know I like that kind of stuff a lot. And I love that line. So, yeah, that's going to be a good release for me personally. I'll jump on that one. I saw the X-Trades coming out. I'd be interested in trying that. Yeah, Muhammad's been doing some really good releases. He's done great with this brand from the ground up, for sure. Speaking of hated fragrances, I can't get enough of... That's hated? I didn't know there was people that hated on that one. It's good stuff. I have a bottle. Haven't worn it in friggin' forever. It's been a long time. It's worth, is it worth picking up Light Blue Forever if I have... Yes, yes. It's very good. As long as you like grapefruit, a lot of tart grapefruit. It was very popular summer before last for a reason. It was it's the be, one of the better flankers they've released in the light blue line in a few years. Now I did like last year's release better, Italian Love. They were very similar, but that one the the patchouli came out a little bit more in the dry down, and I got more bergamot than I did grapefruit. Openings were very similar though, but I would encourage you to try it. But I know it's a it's a pretty good price right now, especially fifty mLs. You can get them for like thirty eight forty dollar range. I think I've seen maybe Joma Shop. Might have even been perfume online, but because <clears throat> I'm always looking for certain ones, and uh, it's pretty good. I think it's pretty good. I have a decant. Wave Musk. Can never go wrong with that one. First time chatting. Had to sit out for two weeks because of the sub only requirement. Indeed. New email. What a name. Yeah, that's intentional. That keeps some of the bullshit down. That way it's genuinely subscribers of the channel that want to be here that we chop it up in this live chat. Because that's what 99% of these live streams on my channel are, is just me talking to you guys, you know, talking to the chat. Yara, what's going on? How are you? It means Hills is not too far away. Aqua Cinzialli Blue, Decant of Morsk Sahara Blue, inspired by Aventus, is just not worth the price. Yeah, I've heard it's pretty good, though. Cryptic figure. What should I blind buy from Authenticity? Um, if you like pineapple, Summer Vibes 4.0. Click the link tree at the top of the chat. There's a link plus a 10% off code. Or you, you can get samples. You can get samples. Go that route. Try a few things from the house. Read through some note breakdowns. See what interests you. Clean Musk is really good, too. Clean Musk is a good one. Barbershop's a good one. Tobacco Boss is a good one. That's some good stuff. They do. Happy Love Friday on Thursday. <laughs> Black Anibus on Ross's birthday, Randy. Yeah, he, he sure did. He won a bottle. Yeah, that's why I'm, I'm trying to make Randy like 
really feel foolish here because he was on the panel on screen when we were doing that and talking about Sphinx. And he's like, oh, I'm just I've never heard of them. Is that who Neve was talking about the other day? <laughs> yes, Randy. <laughs> yes, it is. Uh, Six-ish hours, seven hours range. Kind of average, slightly above average in longevity for me. Not super loud. I mean, it's got typical loud airiness of this, you know, airy scent profile, loud range in the first hour, hour and a half kind of stuff. Typical projection for a fresh fragrance. Um, but it's got some decent staying power. You can get it for like 35 bucks too. And actually, again, link tree, go to the Kingdom Fragrances link. Steve's got them for 35 bucks, 34 bucks. That's where my bottle came from. Spray maybe six sprays on clothes and three on neck. Hmm, that may have been the panel where I was staring at the TV. It might have been. It might have been, but you were definitely there. You were definitely there. I'm just busting you balls and giving you a hard time, man. No, I didn't say Pacific. I said Parfum. Are you talking about another flanker that I don't know about called Pacific? Because I'm talking about Boss Bottled Parfum. That's been out for like a month or so, something like that. Yeah, I don't know what the hell Boss Bottled Pacific is. Is that even a thing? Let me check out iFragrance. If, if there's a website that'll have information on a new flanker, it would be them. Let's, uh, let's go to search. Where the hell is search? Close that off. Scroll. Let me look. I don't see anything. Yeah, I don't see anything. I haven't. Boss Bottle Pacific. I see nothing when I type it in a search. Is that a typo? Did you mess up and have a typo? Because <laughs> never heard of it, man. Never heard of it. I don't see anything on it either. Savage Elixir. What's going on, Montrese? How are you, big dog? Tobacco and Cognac from Rayon Tradition. Okay, 10-4. So, guys, I'm so far behind. I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead. Sorry, I'm going to skip ahead a bit because I'm way behind. So, here we go. Jumping ahead. And when I jump ahead, little J Mac. LJ Mac, what's going on with $5 soup chat? Appreciate that. Damn, Ross, every time you go live, I'm either at the gym or leaving the gym. That's a sign. Scent of the day, Zerjoff Ascento Overdose. I've never tried the overdose. How much different is it than Ascento? Because I have Ascento, and that's magnificent. Musky, floral, fruity iris, pineapple, hyacinth, iris, and very clean musk. That's the main things I get. That's my main takeaways from that. So I'm curious, is it just like intensified or is there additional notes? Talk to me about it a little bit. I'm cute. You have my curiosity. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh oh, got Rick in the house. Just wait though, Latafa clone, light blue forever. That way you can smell like grapefruit in a Middle Eastern spice rack. <laughs> And look, and you're going to buy it and shit on it like you always do with all the other Middle Eastern fragrances. He talks shit about the Latafa stuff, but boy, he sure buys a lot of Armoffs and Afnans and Latafas. He buys all that stuff. Rick, you really are the ultimate on-screen troll. Gotta love Rick. Jesus Christ. Hey, good night to you, sir. What do you think? What do you think about Kenneth Cole Copper Black? I haven't tried that one. I have Vintage Black. I have Blue. <coughs> can't tell you the last time I smelled black and I've definitely never tried copper black. So unfortunately I can't weigh in. I don't have any thoughts. Unfortunately, making sense. Absolute power today. Afternoon splash. Okay. No, I said boss bottle Pacific. It's in Macy's now. See, I've, I haven't seen or heard anything about it. That's news to me. You're dropping news on me right now. Big blue bottle limited edition. One thirty eight. For 200 ml just released this week smells awesome held it in my hand today so that's news to me it so i wonder if it's on their website let's go to macy's.com yeah I, I knew nothing about it i'll be damn let me put that over here and we'll do a split screen 
screen share. Yeah, that's that's pretty damn cool looking bottle right there, I have to say. I appreciate you dropping some knowledge on me here, man. I knew nothing about this. So here we go. How cool looking is that bottle? I mean, I love blue. It's my favorite color. So you can get 100 ml for 104. 200 ml is 138. Yep. See, this is what I was talking about, Boss Bottle Parfum. That's disappointing. It doesn't really smell that much like Boss Bottle. It's got a bunch of other stuff going on. It's like it's a little marine. It's kind of sweet. It's It was a little all over the place. Like, it wasn't bad. It smelled pretty good. It was just like I expected more because it's like I love Boss Number 6. Like, I really want a Parfum version of that. The ultimate has always been the Intenso de Parfum. They'll never make a better version of Boss Bottle than that. I'm sorry. But this, this is cool looking. Look at the box even looks cool. Look at that. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, man. I liked it just for the look of it. I like that shit. That shit looks great. You want to talk about aesthetically pleasing? Man. Man, I like that. So let's see some, let's see if they give me some notes here or something. Got some more info beyond this. I mean, uh, I'd like a little bit more here, Macy's. You're supposed to be the fragrance of destination. Go to view more. Keynotes. Top lemon essence, salted accord. The middle's coconut accord. Okay. Cypress, base of sandalwood and cashmere wood. Okay. So we got fresh greens. We got coconut. We've got a marine accord and some, some bright, like lemon's going to be a bright citrus. I bet this is great. Damn it, I'm, I'm about to... After this live, I might go ahead and buy a bottle because it's not going to... I don't. I can't guarantee it won't hit discounters, but something like this probably won't hit discounters easily. Yeah, I might, I might go ahead and blind buy 100 ml after this. I'm going to go ahead and leave this window open. I'm going to stop the screen share, but I'm going to leave that window open, man. Uh, Beach Life, I appreciate you letting me know, man. You just cost me money and excited me at the same time. Because, uh, A, that looks phenomenal. That's a cool-looking box and bottle combination. And I like what I see in the note breakdown. Aromatic and woody, refreshing scent infused with a jolt of lemon, a splash of coconut, and a dash of salt brings renewed energy to the Boss Bottled Signature. Yeah, I like that. Classified woody. I like that. I think I'm buying that after this live stream. Damn you, Beach Life. You cost me money, but I'm glad you did. I'm actually very excited about that. That's pretty damn cool. Yeah, I'm going to just buy 100 ml. I'll never go through 200 ml. I have a 200 ml of Boss Bottle Unlimited and a 200 ml of Boss Number 6. I'll never go through either one of them, you know? I'll just get 100 ml. Damn, that's good. I'm excited now. That's pretty cool. Hoping that my perfume can smell like Virtus Vanilla Oud. Yeah, I, I, I think that's the same comment. Royale, that's good stuff. You didn't overdose is fire. They added a tobacco leaf note. Uh, and I haven't tried you. I don't remember if I've ever tried Udin. Udin, however you say it. Gotten a chance to strong. No, haven't. That's the one that I haven't tried. That's the only one. Reminds me of Vertus Vanilla Oud. My nose isn't super sophisticated. I'm not saying mine's super sophisticated. I've just smelled a lot of things over the years. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Thousands. <sighs> Haven't tried it. I see a ton of hype on it. Haven't tried it. Jupiter Satellite, really good performance too. Sedley is one of the highlights of the house. One of the better niche freshies out there with as far as versatility and likability. Compliment factor is pretty high on that one too. It was a typo. Thought it was a typo too. Just found a brand new at Macy's. Yeah, I thought it was a typo. I thought it was like a, a predictive text kind of thing where it's like they, he was typing Parfum and it put Pacific out because they thought he wanted to put that or something like predictive text can do sometimes. Nope. It's this cool ass looking bottle with interesting summer, summer vibe note breakdown that I need to add to my collection. I think there's potential there. And look, if it lasts three or four hours is what it is. I won't feel any worse about spending 104 on a hundred ML because it's all about the experience. Now look, if it does last three or four hours, you can hear, hear people bitching up a storm on the internet. Cause that's the main bitch and gripe tip from everyone is about performance. People, people just don't care about experiences with perfumes anymore. It's all about it. How long does it last? 
But how long does it last? Okay, it smells good, but how long does it last? Bro, if I'm spending blah, 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 it's got to give me at least blah, blah, blah. Bro, <laughs> get that shit all the time. Just enjoy the fragrance, man. Jesus. My mom has BR540. I bought the Latafa one. But gave it away to my sister since I just ordered the untold Armoff one. Didn't want to drop a bag on the original. The original's so good, man. There's, I got a bunch of really good clones to BR540, but the original's definitely where it's at. <sighs> definitely Sadrap Waze. I mean, that's always the easiest answer. Man, Sarah Sadrap Waze. Can't go wrong. It's a compliment monster for most people. It's really good. You can get it for a really good price, too. If you click that link in the link tree, Perfume Online, you can get it for 65 bucks. 65 bucks right now. I saw it last night. The 100 ml tester. The only difference with the tester is there's a sticker on the box that says tester. Or it could potentially come in an actual white tester box, but it's the full bottle with the cap. Nothing different. Because uh, I've got Mansara Mansara testers that are the full presentation with just a sticker that says tester. And I've got ones that have an actual tester box. But I got a bunch of testers. They're the way to go. 65 bucks. Can't beat it. Can't beat it. It's great. Just bought it. You went ahead and bought it too, Randy. I'm, I'm going to get it. Don't bother sending me a decan of that one because I'm buying it too. I've, I've never tried that one. I've never even seen it in person. I've only seen it in hearsay on the internet. It was discontinued years ago. Even when I worked in Mercedes, it, it had already been discontinued. And I worked in Mercedes years ago. It's been several years now since I started there. Tough on my hair legacy. Yeah, need recently dropped a video about that. Let's skip ahead a little bit. Really nice. Get your nose on it. I think you'll like it. Salty citrus, ocean in a bottle, great stuff. See, I love shit like that. And I got a ton of stuff like that, but I really like that vibe. When the summer rolls around, it's just something special about those beach vacation type of scent profiles, oceanic stuff. Which is kind of why I like this one. This one's got an aquatic feel to it without aquatic notes. So that just smells great. I've got two here, two here, and four around the neck. I got eight sprays on, and I'm loving it. Iris Man. Thanks for tuning, turning me into it. Here it is right here. Kate Alfreson Unlimited. No. Dials back the pineapple, throws berry in the top. Ooh, I bet that's good. Haven't tried it. You are welcome, Ross. Anytime you will be the first to review. I doubt I'll be the first. Depends on how long it gets here. It takes to get here, but I'm definitely going to scoop it up, man. I don't have to be the first for everything. I'm not these view vultures. I'm not a view vulture like uh, a lot of these other ones. Because if I was, I would have got the clubbed in and we flankers as soon as they dropped when everybody got the mountain of views. Because if you look at my reviews on them, which are very, very recent, yeah, they got a few thousand, you know, seven, eight, nine thousand views, which is still great for an individual review. But when you compare it to people getting 40, 50, 60,000, 70, 80, 100,000 views, even channels a third of my size getting 50,000 views on, on the review, there's a timing thing with certain releases because I'm not saying it's all of you, but a lot of these viewers are hype beasts, just like in the sneaker community. Want the newest thing right now? And the hype dies and they want the next thing. You know, it's the casual viewers. But there's a lot of hype beast viewers, consumers in our community, for sure. You just got to look at stuff like that. What the video is going to get views six months after, three months after it releases versus the week it releases. Hype beasts, they are, they are a real thing, people. <clears throat> Tony Yomi is worth flying by again. Don't know. Haven't tried it. Just like earlier when you asked. Ultraviolet Man. Never tried that one. Mm. Never heard of it. Nope. Definitely not one I'm familiar with. 77 likes, 100 viewers. Can we get closer to 100 likes, guys? What do you think? Those of you just getting here, hit that thumbs up for me. Stream engagement ratios are isn't horrible, but we can do better. See, right when I say it, here comes Jared in the next comment. Solid smash that like button. Thank you, Jared. I appreciate that. So tour, I guess you meant raw because I have that bottle coming. The light blue juice. <clears throat> My order for this month from Perfume Online. I have Wild Le Parfum, 60 ml coming, finally. I have a 50 ml of 1 million elixir coming. Super excited about that too. And a 100 ml of Rasasi Sotur Ra. 
Didn't want to get that one. So it's going to be a great, great, great haul. Very excited about that. Uh, I haven't tried the EDT, so I don't know. I've, I've got a decant Randy sent me of the EDP, and I've only tried it one time so far. Um, so I don't know the difference with the Eau de Toilette. You find that Boss Bottle... <clears throat> Did you find that boss bottle actually in the store? Because if so, I'll head out there right now. <clears throat> so Beach Life, that's what he was saying. So look, look, look at RXL going chase views. <laughs> I'm going to film it in the store. <laughs> um, he said he had it in his hand. So it's at Macy's. You can go get it, Rick. It's at Macy's. So there you go. Yeah, he said he held it in his hand and talked about it and everything. He tried it today. Hey, they're a big fan here. Does Halloween Hero smell close to Rosa Sloan? No. It smells like Invictus Aqua. Very close to Invictus Aqua 2018, a little bit more soapy than it is powdery. Because Invictus Aqua 2018 is more powdery because of the violet. Whereas Hero has lavender instead of violet. So it's it's more soapy. And uh, Invictus Aqua 2018, of those two, Rosa Sloan's better, but they don't smell alike. They, they smell nothing alike. So it's not really one's better than the other, but if I had to pick one, I would take Rosa Sloan. <clears throat> I don't worry about performance unless it's my work scent. It's the only time I care about performance. Really? Are we talking about, you sure about that? Because I don't think you're talking about the same kind of Mercedes-Benz Sport. Because it looks just like Mercedes-Benz Cologne. So picture the Mercedes-Benz cologne bottle. So yeah, that doesn't come up when I type in Mercedes Sport on FragranceNet because it doesn't exist. It's been discontinued for years, dog. It, big dog, it's, it's been gone for years and years and years. If they were to get it, they'd sell it for 300 bucks. You know what I mean? So um, yeah, that's it's... I don't know what you're talking about. I just searched it on fragrance that and it's not there. So yeah, that's been discontinued. That came out in like 09 or something like that. It got discontinued a long time ago. And uh, it looks just like the Mercedes Benz cologne bottle. I mean, hell, let's just go back to a screen share. Let's just do this. Let's educate ourselves. Shall we? Allow. Oh, wow. So, so, see, here's Mercedes-Benz Cologne. See that bottle? The blue hue is just a little bit different from Mercedes-Benz Sport. This is Mercedes-Benz Sport. What year did it come out? It's been a long time. 14, sorry. But it's been discontinued. It got discontinued like two years after, like 2016, maybe even 2017. And it has been MIA and next to impossible to find for a very, very long time. Never tried it. I'd love to get my hands on it, but yeah, that's that's the sport people are referring to. Um, and like I said, I just went to Fragrance Net, and when I type in, come on, Mercedes Sport. I'll be damned. You made me look like a fool, and everybody should jump on this immediately, 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 immediately. Immediately. If you were ever interested, now's your chance. <laughs> immediately. I wonder why when I type in Mercedes Sport and press enter, it does not come up. That's weird. But just having it here, look, it popped up right there. So my apologies first and foremost, sir. But that because with let's let's go ahead and add the 37% off coupon because it's probably gonna be like 28 bucks. Which for those of you that don't know is GNPL3 is the 37% off coupon code. There you go, 37% added to your entire order. $27 for a 75 ml. So guys, if you ever wanted it, now's your chance. I'm gonna buy it because that's ridiculous. That's super cheap. I can't believe it. I can't believe it's not butter. 
So yeah, so I got looks like I'm buying a few fragrances today. <laughs> looks like I'm buying a few fragrances today. So Braden, my apologies. First and foremost, you were right. I was wrong because uh, that has been discontinued for several years. I am shocked to see it popped up for cheap. That's going to sell out in moments because anybody that's watching this right now that was ever interested in it, it's about to buy it. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised. That's that's impressive. Twenty seven bucks. GNPL three is the thirty seven percent off code, people. Untold worth the hype. Yeah, it's good. It's definitely good. It's I gave it a seven point five out of ten in my review. A seven in the initial impression, and then a seven point five in the full review. Satur Ta. Okay, so there's a different one. Yeah, I got Satur Ra coming. The R A A. Lines very underrated. Ten four. I agree. It's not in my store. I just called. So Randy's on the hunt too, Rick. It happens. I mean, it's all about dollars and cents. And if things aren't selling, you know. Yeah, there you go. Oh, really? No shit. Let's try that. I didn't know they had a 40% off code. That's new. That is new. BGPL. Well, you're just like the fragrance net guru, huh? Replace. I'll be damn. 40% off. So that makes it. Twenty-six dollars and thirty-nine cents. So I'll leave this on. I'll leave this comment pin for a minute for you guys. I don't know what Mercedes Benz Sport is, but I just bought it. <laughs> it's a sportier take. There's Neroli added. Picture the original Mercedes Benz, the clear bottle, the first one in that line. Picture adding some Neroli to it. Pretty much what it is. It's a little bit fresher, and it's got that soapy white floral Neroli to it. It's not completely a sportier take, but it's a, it's even fresher than the original. Recently saw you wanted to buy Green Lover. Did you? No, I haven't gotten around to it. I uh, haven't tried Ruby. So you would have seen a video on the channel if I had it. That's uh, That would be a full review and a, or a comparison video between the two. Because I get asked all the time. I just haven't gotten it. Love Rouge, though. I have a review on Rouge if you want to check out Rouge. It's fantastic. It's absolutely fantastic. So I appreciate all you guys jumping in. Braden, thank you so much for the info. Again, my apologies. I was wrong. You were right. Thank you, FragranceNet Guru. As we, That's what I'm going to call you from now on. And then my man Beach Life for the info on Boss Bottle Pacific. Uh, so if you guys will excuse me, I have some fragrances to buy. So that's kind of why we're cutting this one a little bit shorter than an hour. Typically we go about an hour, but I have some online fragrance shopping to do. So, uh, yeah. So make sure you check out today's video, the best colognes for the everyday man. I got broken down into a few categories for price brackets for you guys. And uh, thank you all for being here. I appreciate all the super chats from everybody that gave super chats. Thank you again to you two gentlemen for the cool info. So I'm definitely buying both of these fragrances. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Yeah, have a good one.